In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for a special intention for Olga Kaye. And we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries by asking for forgiveness to the Lord our God. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose eternal word adorns the face of the heavens, yet accepted from the Virgin Mary the frailty of our flesh, grant, we pray, that he who appeared among us as the splendor of truth may go forth in the fullness of power for the redemption of the world, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, we receive from him whatever we ask because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And his commandment is this, we should believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he commanded us. Those who keep his commandments remain in him and he in them. And the way we know that he remains in us is from the Spirit whom he gave us. Beloved, do not trust every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they belong to God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. This is how you can know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges Jesus Christ come in the flesh belongs to God. And every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus does not belong to God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, who, as you have heard, is to come, but in fact is already in the world. You belong to God, children, and you have conquered them. For the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. They belong to the world. Accordingly, their teaching belongs to the world, and the world listens to them. We belong to God, and anyone who knows God listens to us, while anyone who does not belong to God refuses to hear us. This is how we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of deceit, the word of the Lord. I will give you all the nations for an inheritance. The Lord said to me, you are my son, this day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. I will give you all the nations for an inheritance. And now, O kings, give heed. Take warning, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him. With trembling, rejoice. 
I will give you all the nations for an inheritance. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia. Jesus proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and went to live in Capernaum by the sea in the region of Zebulon and Naphtali, that what had been said through Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled. Land of Zebulun and land of Naphtali, the way to the sea beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sit in darkness have seen a great light on those dwelling in a land overshadowed by death, light has arisen. From that time, from that time on, Jesus began to preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He went around all of Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness among the people. His fame spread to all of Syria, and they brought to him all who were sick with various diseases and racked with pain, those who were possessed, lunatics and paralytics, and he cured them. And great crowds from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, and Judea, and from beyond the Jordan followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. The word gospel comes from the Greek word evangelion, which means good news. And when Jesus was proclaiming the good news, this good news had two parts, two parts. Jesus is proclaiming God's love, God's salvation, and at the same time, the Lord is asking for repentance, for you to accept God's love and his salvation, you have to repent. This is the price we have to pay for us to accept and experience God's salvation and God's love. This is the price. This is the price. This is our response to God's love. And this conversion means literally return to return to a point of origin. I repeat, the word conversion means literally to return to a point of origin. And who is the origin? God is the origin. When we convert to the Lord, we're going to the origin, which is God himself. But also we have to pay another price in this process of conversion, which is an adjustment, an adjust, adjustment of our mind to the mind of Christ. It implies an adjustment of our mind to the teachings of Christ. This is the price we have to pay. We have to adjust ourselves to the Lord. Uh, Saint John in the first reading says that we have, that we need the spirit of discernment to know what comes from the Lord and what belongs to the world. 
for us to adjust ourselves, our minds, to that of Christ, we need to have a spirit of discernment, to know what comes from the Lord and what comes from the world. And, and this is the process of conversion uh, that we all must go through. A process of adjustment, adjustment to the Lord. Of course, we need formation. Once again, we need to know the teachings of the church. In the teachings of the church, we see how the Lord thinks. What is the way of thinking of the Lord in the teachings of the church? Notice that um, St. John, in the first reading, he says something very interesting. He says, this is how we can know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges Jesus Christ come in the flesh belongs to God. The context of these words is that St. John is struggling with a sector in the Christian community that started to believe that Jesus' flesh, Jesus' humanity was an appearance. It was not true. It was not real. So he has to insist over and over again in the incarnation of Jesus Christ. So there is a sector in the Christian community that believes that Jesus Christ is God, but he didn't become man truly. And, and he's fighting against this current or this ideology. So we need the Spirit of Christ. We need the spirit of discernment. We need the Holy Spirit and we need to receive formation. We need formation to know what belongs to God and what doesn't belong to God. So in this, what is our context? In this context of confusion in our church, in our society, we have to hold on to Jesus' teachings. We have to hold on to our faith. We have to read the Catechism of the Catholic Church. We need to, to receive formation and form ourselves in the teachings of Christ. This is part of conversion. When, when, when people hear uh, about God's love, they all applaud. It's, it's well received. When you say God loves you, uh, you are important for Him, and, and see how much the Lord loves you. And people say, oh, wonderful, but what is the price I have to pay for that love? And this is the second part of the proclamation of the kingdom of heaven, of the kingdom of God. You, the price you have to pay is your adjustment to the teachings of Christ, which are the teachings of the church. So, let us pray for us first, because we need to adjust ourselves to Christ. We're the first ones who have to adjust ourselves to the teachings of Christ. And then, once we start practicing, uh, once, once, once we start putting into practice the teachings of the church, we can invite others and, ev and evangelize others to go back to the Lord, to convert themselves to the Lord. Let us pray in silence. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, for the Church of Christ, the Catholic Church. We pray also for the world and for one another. 
for the church, that she may be faithful to the Spirit of God who acknowledges Jesus come in the flesh, and that she may give witness to him at all times. Let us pray to the Lord. That the kings and rulers of the earth may give heed and serve the Lord with fear, keeping his ways of justice, life, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. That the repentance demanded by Jesus may be in our hearts as we continually turn from the ways of the world to the dominion of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. That Jesus, who cured every disease and illness among the people of his own time, may hear our prayers for all those who need his healing, to, his healing touch today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord we, pray special, we pray especially for the intentions of Olga Kaye. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our beloved dead, that as they remained in Jesus during this passing life, they may now, now see, see him face to face in the life that has no end. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful God, hear our prayers and grant what we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as light 
for the nations. And when he appeared in, a, in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, my brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you through all the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not over sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by the power of these holy mysteries, our life may be constantly sustained through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen.